Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Exactly. And when you shut down the experiment, the probability function will collapse. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe, at least. The question is, which will you choose? Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. Thirty people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe, you don't have to decide now. But when the time comes, please, keep them in mind. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day. Tatiana Barakova, station's doctor. This is not a public medical facility, but the director has ordered me to assist you nonetheless. I can spare a few med packs. Beyond that, I am not your therapist, your psychologist, or your cosmetologist. If there's anything else you need, ask. Excuse me? Perhaps you'd care to try a dead-end medical post on some godforsaken planet in the middle of nowhere, huh? Six-year surgical residency, and I spend my days treating paper cuts and hurt feelings for a bunch of mathematicians and physicists. And now I have to deal with some spacer who thinks they're jumping between universes? Spare me. Hmm. You won't even need a bandage for that. Fine. Heavy seat. Right. Now, if there is nothing else, you can show yourself out. I think I still have a few things I could spare.
available on designated security terminals. You're back. I wasn't sure if you were alive or... or if you were going to come back for me. I mean, not that I'm not grateful, but why? Why not stay in that other universe? I... yeah. Yeah, I do. It's not much, but I scrounged up a few things you might still be able to use. You're welcome to anything else you find lying around, too. No one's going to miss it. And as for me, I owe you. You ever need an engineer? Just say the word. Now, let's get off this damn rock. all the answers and yet here I stand feeling like I understand even less than I did before this talk of the unity of a, a multiverse 
dead friends appearing again? It, it is all simply too much. Does it? Perhaps you find all this satisfactory, but I am afraid I do not. We must take the word of a murderer and follow him into the unity? What if it does nothing the Starborn have claimed? I... I do not know how to respond. I understand what you are trying to say, but I just cannot feel the same way. When we started this mission, we had no idea where it would lead, that we would lose people along the way. If we had known, would we still have been so keen to get here? Even if everything the Starborn have said is true, if you pass into this unity and come out in... in some other universe, look at who they are, and what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know, but are nothing like them. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? Can it not be about both? We have been through a great deal together. If you go into this unity, we have no idea whether we would ever see each other again. Or if we did, would we be the same? Different versions of ourselves somehow? That is not a risk I think I wish to take. Now you sound like Sarah. But you are not wrong. I will do my best to assume the best, but you cannot blame me for preparing for the worst. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there's no time to waste. What does your scanner reveal?
Return to your ship. It's over. It's finally over. I can't tell you how grateful I am to be out of there. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll take along until we get back to civilization. Anywhere I'll do. I can catch a ride back to New Atlantis on my own. And then, if you ever need an engineer, or just want to talk, look me up at the viewport. I owe you. I need some time to recover, but I'll manage. If I can survive that, I can survive anything. I still have friends in New Atlantis. I'll stay with them until I'm back on my feet. After that, I'm not sure. Next time you're in the city, meet me at the viewport. It'd be great to have someone I can talk to. No one else will ever believe me. I am, but not right now. Let me get back to New Atlantis, get some rest. And then, yes, it's the least I can do, after all you've done for me. Always enjoy these moments. Ancient things. Do you think people are starting to notice? trying to take a little too much on? Literally. Something on your mind. I heard you're fluent in over two dozen verbal and body languages. Remarkable. I'm here for you. I am always willing to carry an extra weapon. Or two. Or three. Engines in a time almost complete. Total time five minutes twenty two seconds. Ride on schedule. How are the helium-3 valves holding, Nova? 
We double-checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One Some miracle of science at a time can happen. Count it down. Here. Five. Four. Strange three, to be standing on such two, a unique bit of one. history. Canaveral. Are you breathing? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova.
thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But if I say she got them up, we need a war to the ground Earth. drive. We need to this discuss what he found. Artifact. And it looks like other Starborn got here before us. So, you might have company. you to come here. The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Every grav drive in the settled systems was built on technology that came from an artifact that was discovered on Mars. But these early drives shook the gravity field surrounding Earth. Eventually, the atmosphere started to slowly sputter away into space. That's why Earth is uninhabitable. The artifact gave the scientists a greater understanding of time and space, but not the wisdom to see where that would lead. The settled systems wouldn't exist without the artifacts, in other words. We owe what happened here in NASA a great debt. To be fair, we gained much more than just grav drives. Some more than others. Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? What gave Victor Iza the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself.
it seems somewhat hypocritical to argue that only by becoming starborn in the first place are you then qualified to prevent others from doing the same. How does that make yours the right hands? Join me, old friend. We can collect the final pieces together. Oh no you don't. You're not his old friend, remember? You're from another universe. Don't try to manipulate him. Okay. I couldn't win you over on philosophy. How about pragmatism? I'm more powerful than the Emissary. Than any other Starborn. And you might not understand why, but I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. I... am not sure I agree with your choice. But I will help you reach your goal. Thank you. Well, can't say I didn't try. We'll settle this at the usual place. The Buried Temple. We'll be there. You're lucky I'm a man of my word. I'll see you there. Stay for a moment. You must have questions about what happens next. There's always a final artifact in a specific temple. The Hunter and I agreed that whomever you sided with, the other would wait there. Expect anything and everything. Other Starborn, human mercenaries, and defenses, alien creatures under mind control. It's all fair game. He and I have made a number of agreements over the years, if you can even call them years at this point. We let him go. In exchange, he'll wait at the buried temple. You'll be able to prepare any way you can before then. There is a temple for every artifact. You should find as many as you can. You'll need their power. I'll meet you in orbit above the buried temple. We'll face what's there together.
everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know. 